Collector RC. Okay, it's been a couple days since we posted a video, I think like three or four. Uh, we ended up having some things in the way, but uh, we're back now and we're gonna come out, <laughs> we're gonna explode with these videos here. So we're actually gonna do two videos a day. This is gonna be one video and then we have another video that will, if you're a subscriber, you'll see the other video coming out, um, especially if you have that uh, you know notification, you know, uh, click there. The notification bell, I should say. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's get, let's go, we'll go with this video here and then later on today will be another video. So this video, we actually have an unboxing. Uh, we decided to go out and kind of venture around some local hobby shops and we're kind of looking for something. I had an idea. I was kind of inspired by some of the things I've seen at some of these, uh, tracks. Uh, there's our local, uh, we have a local track at uh, a hobby shop called JNS Hobby. Um, they have an awesome dirt track there that uh, we've seen some cool cars on there. So we decided we didn't go super pricey, but there we go. The Mini T, uh, Losi Mini T 2.0. You can see here it retails about $139.99. Um, about the same price you'll find on Amazon. Uh, US, I'm not sure what, what this uh, will go for in other areas, but. Basically, it's a, it's the TLR 22T design based on the Team uh, uh, Losi Racing platform. It's ready to run, waterproof ESC servo and receiver. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool looking. We got the blue and white version. Uh, yeah, so it's two wheel drive, so it's definitely in its rear, and we just wanted something kind of quick, so. Um, and something we can mess. We're going to upgrade this thing. So well, let's open it up and well, let's, here, let's look at some stuff here so you guys can see some things. Uh, scaled down version of the 110th uh, 22T, uh, mid motor configuration. It's got threaded oil filled shocks and aluminum chassis. Aluminum chassis. It does have, comes with a 2S uh, LiPo. It's only a 20C and I believe it's at 650 ma. Um, and then it does come with a controller, of course, has ball bearings, full ball bearings. I'm not sure, sure if they're sealed, but it's a pretty, pretty cool looking thing so far. We did already open this. We took the tape off, but let's open it. All right. So right away, we got some interesting packaging going on here. Got the little plastic sleeve here that covers the body for protection. It's pretty sweet. It's, you see my hand size, and I got big hands too, but you can see it's a pretty decent 118th scale. All right, so we've got instruction manual here. Comes with batteries for your receiver, and looks like a tire tool, and then your uh, bind plug. And I think that's all it's in there. Oh, and then, and then an Allen key or an Allen wrench. Then you have your. It looks like you can upgrade some things. Ooh, that's we've got some fancy stuff you can upgrade. All metal. I'm gonna have to look into that stuff. Got some more information here on your dynamite motors, transmitter. It does, I believe. I think it's a. I don't know what to see the motor in there, but I think it's a 280 brush. I know it's brushed. Let's go ahead and. I have already put the batteries in here. Uh, yeah, we did test run it. I apologize. It's not a true unboxing, <laughs> but I could. We got it yesterday. I couldn't hold out. Um, so this is your uh, controller here. It's pretty simple. It's got your steering trim, your throttle, your reverse, uh, your channel three on and off. It's the way you do your batteries with this thing is kind of nifty. Um, they don't go in from the bottom, and unfortunately, and this won't stand on its own. It's kind of a that sucks, but oh well. <laughs> so the way you do your batteries here, you're actually gonna push this up, and then this thing just slides forward. So your batteries actually go in here. This part here, I'm gonna show you real quick. Pops open. There's your batteries. It's kind of a nifty. Wouldn't it be kind of cool if you, this still worked? <laughs> I mean, you could make it work, and then you just had I don't know how you'd do that, but it's good for disassemble. And you need to get it in a bag, and your controllers are kind of pain. That's kind of the kind of the way I look at that. When they get it back on, you do have to press the button, and you'll just slide it forward, and it locks. And you got a battery. Make sure, see, and it's on. All right, then you also get, yeah, I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, any Anybody who's, you know, kind of dived in and is, I guess you've been doing RC for a while, you'll know, you'll find, obviously these things are 
typically garbage. I don't like anything that has to do with a wall plug. I typically use, I kind of go on the cheap end because I don't have a lot of high-end battery cars. So I use this here. It's the X charger. It's a pretty cheap charger. I think I bought it. It was like 35 bucks and then everything else to go with it. It does not come with power cord, which you'd have to buy a laptop power AC DC power adapter. And then I also bought, I have this here as well. Uh, that way I never have to worry about any battery I ever want to charge ever. <laughs> um, unless I'm going like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, success. 4S, I'm pretty much just where my limit of what I can charge and then anything else higher than that. So anyway, we're not going to use this thing. It's the wall charger comes in there. Um, it probably works. It, these are great if you have a low cell issue. They'll get you, usually they'll get you enough to give you enough to charge on the bigger chargers. Anyway, so that's what you get for in this package part of it. Let's get to the car. All right, comes out pretty easily. Simple cardboard. I'm trying to talk louder, so let me know in the comments if, I, if it, the volume is still an issue. Um, we don't use, I, mean, I do have microphones for my other recording devices, but I typically use my phone. Um, it's just <laughs> ease of access. Uh, so if it's not, if I'm not speaking loud enough, or we have a, if there's a volume issue, please let us know. We're, we're continuously working on that. So yeah, let's get this out of here. All right, let's get it on the stand here. It fits. There we go. All right. So that's what you're looking at. Pretty nifty. It's got some soft tire. It feels like there's yeah, there's foam inside those tires. Same with the, yep, same with the rear. So here's your back end. Pretty nice, not too shabby. Side view, the iconic yellow <laughs> tires there. Front end's looking pretty, pretty nifty. It's got a pretty good steering radius there for what you're gonna need it for. All right, well, let's open it up so we can actually see what's in here. All right, you got four pins, little itty bitty tiny little pins that will drive you insane and you'll probably lose some because we all do, right? <laughs> all right, so yeah, this is the blue and white body. Pretty snazzy. Kind of like it. It's kind of square. I don't, I don't, they call it the truck, but I don't think this is actually a truck. Eh, maybe it is. That's truck, truggy, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's look at the components in here. The battery is already in. You are, we are going to have to charge that. Um, let's see, I think the stand is a little too, uh, might be a little too small for the, there we go. Might be a little better there. <laughs> uh, all right. What else are we looking at? We got, here's the servo in the front with a pretty interesting servo horn. It's metal. That is the SX107 analog. That's a spectrum servo. You've got the 20 amp two in one ESC RX. Uh, you got your bind here. Let's uh, see if we can get a little closer look. All right, so you got your bind right here. And then you've got your, oh, okay, between your NIM and LiPo. Oh, so you can run NIM battery in this, which that's cool. So LiPo or NIM, that's nifty. The battery sits underneath, I believe. I have not taken it out yet or messed with it. So we're going to figure out how this goes in and out. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So to open this, this new car, this part, this part's new to me. You have two pins right here. So you pull these pins. Yay, more pins. Uh, and it looks like this whole thing. Yep. It just leans up and your battery comes right out. That's kind of nifty. This is your 2S battery. Now we got the battery removed. You do have a metal a metal frame here um, that's pretty nifty the uh, one of the things you can do what I was told is that you can buy some skid plates that actually will protect this metal platform here I don't really care I'm gonna destroy it it's gonna see lots of dirt they kind of lift it which is nice because in that way you have that when you hit those hills it will keep clear what else about this thing so here's the 280 motor it's pretty small we're going to change that. And, I mean, it's got the oil field shocks, which are great. Let's show you guys that here. Let's zoom out. All right. So I don't know if that's going to do justice here. Let's move this. Yeah, it's the shocks are pretty good. 
got a slow rise goes all the way to the ground that's pretty nifty but other than that i mean it's got some interesting parts here you got your stress that looks like it's metal that's some metal adjustable on your steering links here so you can adjust all that it looks like you can fully customize this and basically turn the whole thing metal if you really wanted to um, I know that they have the uh, motor mount plate in there that you can get as metal. It looks like it already has that, but it looks like you can get one that has it's vented, which would be, yeah, be handy. There's no lights or anything that come on it. Um, yeah, so there you go. I, I hope that's a pretty, pretty good unboxing, at least detail wise. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about these cars. It's new, but I really even want to get one. I want something that's really fast on a track or I could just put on a flat surface and just freaking rip the thing. Um, I'm also looking for something that I can just take out to the uh, like skate park or local skate park and uh, some jumps. We've been doing some bashing at a, this other kind of a grassy park area. and I just want something that's going to, I can just send it and it's just going to fly. So that's kind of the goal with this guy eventually. Um, we're also going to do some races. I think the little bro and the cuz will probably end up getting these. I think little bro for sure is going to get one and we're going to do some cool little races with them. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and let's drive this thing and see, see how it works. We got to charge the battery at first. So we'll do that. It is a, <laughs> I don't even know what you call that kind of a plug. It's like the smallest. Oh, okay. It's the EC2. There you go. I thought it'd be an EC1. There must be an EC1, right? It's going to be smaller than this. <laughs> But so now you've probably seen EC5s, you've seen EC3s, and now an EC2. Cool. That's going to be changed, though. So, <laughs> All right, let's charge this battery up, and then we'll get it out on the uh, on the uh, pavement out there and drive around. Okay, so we've got the battery installed. Uh, it's good to go. The controller is on. Uh, it's already been on. As you can see, it's got pretty good turning radius there. Whoop. Remember, the controller does not stand on its own. <laughs> Uh, remember the front end here is kind of a dip. We'll get low, show you. Or dips forward or leans up. This will help you. All right, so let's go ahead and, <coughs> excuse me, let's go ahead and drive this thing around. You can see where we're on. Uh, yeah, it is going to be full power. So uh, let's we'll see what we can do. It's a fast little car for, for RTR. Oh, that's not bad. Turns on a dime. I'd say that's pretty quick. That's pretty, pretty sweet. Get it on a smooth surface, and you'll easily be able to drift this thing. I hit the camera. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it's that's a pretty cool little. Let's take a closer look at it. So yeah, I mean it's it's pretty nifty. It's fast. It turns good. Uh, traction's pretty good on the tires. I don't know a whole lot about these kind of tires, and you know, I'll have to learn as I'm going, but. We are, uh, there is some recommendations for upgrades. I guess there is a uh, brushless 6,000 kV um, two-in-one. They can make this, they just really will bump the speed and performance of this thing. Uh, there's a bunch of metal upgrade parts you can do. Uh, not a lot of them seem like they're necessary because I, I don't really, I gotta play with it more to see, figure out where my weak points are, see, you know, figure out, no matter what, I wanna make it faster, then from there we go for the upgrades. So I know we all kind of do it differently, but. Yeah, I would say this is a definitely good buy. Definitely worth the 139 uh, in US. And yeah, I mean, if you're into someone looking for a 118 scale fast little track car, I think this is the, the car to go. There is another one, I believe. Um, I was told this one was a little better, but maybe we have to do the Mini B as well to kind of compare them. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching. And, uh,. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Um, oh, and the like button too, if you like it. And then if you want to continue to keep watching what we're doing, hit that subscribe button. And then because we post so many videos, you can hit that uh, that bell there and uh, you'll know when our videos come out. I probably said all that wrong, but you understand. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching.
Bye.